What's up, people? It's King Dove the Seventh, and I'm gonna be talking about Resident Evil Seven, which I just beat like three or four days ago, I think. And like I say, this is not gonna be a review. This is just gonna be me giving my impressions and thoughts of the game as I finished it. Um, I don't believe in reviews. I don't think I can tell people to go out and buy a game just because of my likes and dislikes about a game, because other people are gonna have different opinions as I do. Like people like certain things about game that game said I don't like. I like certain things about games that other people may not like. So all I can do is give you my experiences and if you think that you'd like those experiences then you could go out and buy the game if you don't think you'd like those experiences then you don't have to go out and buy the game and i'm going to try not to spoil any of the story for resident evil 7 so resident evil 7 was supposed to be like a reboot i believe of the resident evil franchise i think that they succeeded and had a successful reboot in certain aspects it was a very solid game it was a good game it was fun but if i'm judging it as a horror game and the horror aspects i think it failed personally except for one part where there are a lot of bugs because i personally just don't like bugs i hated that part but besides that and I wasn't even scared really, that was just like, just nasty and gross. But besides that, it wasn't very scary. And I think that's an important part to have if you're gonna make a horror game. Horror is an important part in horror games, yes, I just said it. It's crazy, right? You would never think it, but horror is an important part. I don't think that Resident Evil 7 was just very scary. Compared to Resident Evil 4, where every step of the way in Resident Evil 4, I just felt a kind of scared and hopeless i just was afraid that an enemy was gonna come around the corner because i didn't have a lot of ammo or like i didn't have a lot of health i didn't feel that way often in resident evil 7 because the enemies felt very easy to kill it was either that or it was that the ai was very stupid now the question you may be asking yourself is what difficulty did what difficulty did you play on now i played on the hardest difficulty that i could play on at the time which was normal and that's because uh, you had to pre-order the game in order to get the hardest difficulty mode, which is very stupid in my opinion. That's a negative for me. I don't think you should have to pre-order a game in order to get hard mode. That just sounds kind of uh, ludicrous or crazy, if you will. But Resident Evil 7 on normal, it was just super, I wouldn't say super easy, but it was easier than I wanted it to be. And it just wasn't scary because there was no fear of me dying in the game. I didn't feel hopeless at any time. If I ever died in that game, I was like, oh, I'm stupid. I didn't see this thing or I let this thing kill me. How could I be so stupid? It was never, oh my God, that thing was so scary. I, I don't know how I'm going to beat it. Resident Evil 7 failed in the fear aspect. It failed in making me feel hopeless. It failed in making me feel afraid of the environment that I was in. I just felt like the environment, I, was, I felt myself criticizing the main character who you would play as i felt myself criticizing him more than to kind of understanding what he was going through i was like why don't you just do this these monsters are stupid why don't you just do this these people are stupid rather rather than saying oh my goodness i, I don't i would, don't know what i would do if i was in this situation i feel like that's an, an important part of a horror game having the player be able to i guess empathize or sympathize with what the main character is going to in terms of fear now when I compare, when the my golden standard for horror games will always be Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. And those were like the two scariest games I've ever played. I actually didn't finish Dead Space 2 because it was just it was just too much stress for me. I couldn't, I might go back and beat that game one day, but it was just f fucking terrifying for me to play through some of that. Resident Evil 7 was nowhere, nowhere near that at all. Um, also with, with Resident Evil 7, I didn't enjoy how short it was this also goes back to it being easy the puzzles in the game are super easy um and there just wasn't much content in terms of story like i finished the game in eight hours which is pretty fast like most people most games that i play i guess i should say most games that i play it takes me about 20 hours or so to finish because most games that i play are very very big i guess like final fantasy uh final fantasy 15 i think that took me like 30 hours to beat which is that was a pretty big game that was also an open world game so i don't expect resident evil 7 to take me nearly that long but for a linear gameplay or for a linear story based gameplay or a linear story based game i would want at least 12 hours worth of gameplay with resident evil 7 i got 
eight hours worth of gameplay and this eight hours included things like me quadruple checking rooms to make sure I didn't miss any items it included me reading every single piece of document because I wanted to get like know the story as well as I possibly could it included me watching every single video because I wanted to get as many hints as I possibly could if I didn't read all of that and I didn't if I didn't care about the story and I didn't read all the documents and I didn't like quadruple check rooms then that probably would have shaved two hours off my first play time now if I played that game again knowing how to what to do on every part I could probably beat that game in four or five hours which of course you're gonna be able to beat the game faster but that just shows like there's really not that much content in the game in terms of like story and things like that and I also didn't like the story in my opinion Resident Evil 7 Biohazard felt like it didn't feel like it was the whole game it didn't feel like it was the end product of Resident Evil 7 it didn't feel like it it didn't feel like that was a reboot it felt like that was the precursor to what the reboot actually is going to be Resident Evil 7 Biohazard felt like Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 Phantom Pain that's my comparison because Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain was just a precursor to the Metal Gear Solid 5 full game it was just to like catch you up and or more so introduce you to the new world and let you know what was going on it felt like that's what resident evil 7 was it didn't feel like that was the whole story i feel like this was the beginning of a bigger picture like this guy who you're playing as ethan this is what he went through to start this to start a whole big tri trigger of events that's going to happen in the actual resident evil 7 that's what it feels like to me or that's what it felt like to me it didn't feel like an actual whole game which is very pretty disappointing because the game cost me sixty dollars like i was actually upset that i spent the whole 60 after looking around like for pre pc prices and things like that because i would feel like thirty dollars or something like that maybe forty dollars as a much more acceptable pricing for this game than sixty dollars but they are giving they are going to give us free DLC sometime soon, so I'm going to hope to play that. The actual game itself, the actual Resident Evil 7 game though, the gameplay mechanics in the game were pretty solid. I didn't have much problem aiming in the game, nothing felt buggy, nothing felt out of place in gameplay mechanics. The game itself was pretty fun and pretty good, but I can't say I was disappointed with the game, but I felt like the game could be much better, much longer. And I was kind of expecting more from it. I don't think it was good enough to just improve from Resident Evil 6. I think you just had to blow Resident Evil 6 out of the water to regain a lot of the trust that other people, that people lost. And I don't think they necessarily regained the trust of other people, but I do think they caught a lot of people's attention and people are gonna wait to see what the next game is before they really go out and buy it. Uh, I think this is gonna be the end of the conversation all in all i pretty much liked resident evil 7's gameplay i didn't think it was scary i think it kind of failed as a horror game if it wasn't a horror game though it would probably i would probably like it more but the fact that it was called a horror game and i wasn't scared at all that's kind of a disappointment um but yeah all in all i pretty much liked the game make sure like the video subscribe to the channel i would love to hear your opinions on resident evil 7 if you played the game or saw it being played this is king dr 7 signing off peace